So while my main machine cranks away conforming footage for another project, I thought I'd show what went wrong with my Windows 98 machine. So what I did was I installed the unofficial service pack for Windows 98 SE and it broke some things. And I think what I did wrong was that I didn't install Internet Explorer update first. I should have done that first. Um, well, I'll just show you what went wrong. So I was like, I need to edit my DOS startup. Wait, what the? Why is it? What the fuck? Okay, last time I did this, it crashed. But now it's working. I mean, it is still a little bit broken though. So, I'm kind of, I'm honestly kind of undecided now. You know what? A few people have told me that Windows 98 can be fixed by simply installing it over top of itself. So let's try that. Okay, so I've grabbed the, if you can see those, the recovery floppy and the boot disk. I'm not sure which I need for this. And the actual installation CD-ROM because I'm almost certain that Windows 98 did not have a recovery partition and it sure as hell does not fit on this floppy. So yeah, let's try this. Oh, I want to shut down. Oh shit. Okay. Now it's not bringing up the shutdown menu. Can I log off and then shut? Oh, wonderful. This looks suspiciously like my boot disk. I don't see any actual recovery options. And I know some old timer commenter is gonna point out that I was hopelessly naive for expecting this to be anything like WinPE, but. Okay, so it has some diagnostic tools that it mounted to a virtual drive, I guess. I'm trying to think if any of these will help me, but I don't think any of them will. What I really need is SFC, which didn't exist until I think Windows 2000. So we're just going to install over top and hope that fixes it. Uh, um, you know, it would be nice if you told me what the hell it is, but okay. If I don't know what that is, I'm just going to delete it. It's probably because I shut down, like, reset it. I don't want the video files to get too big because they actually desync, and also Dropbox flips shit, so. Yes, we will just install over top. What's the worst that could happen? That's what I've been saying throughout this whole project. I've just been trying various stupid things and being like, what's the worst that could happen? And then I fucked up my Windows install. <laughs> I mean, okay, it's gonna be the exact same disc, but okay. It's also a lame disc, a very lame disc that I don't like. For technical reasons, I'm not gonna film this. I could do like a cool sped up clip, but I'm probably gonna overheat my phone by doing that, so. Okay, so I have no idea why it's doing that. So, how much stuff is back? So you have a bad feeling that while my files are there, everything is gonna be completely fucked up because none of the programs are registered or anything, but we shall see. Okay, they are. So, that's a thing, I guess? Explorer is fixed. So that's good. Yeah. So this time we are going to RTFM, and I 
think we need to install Internet Explorer first and then the service pack. Okay, where is my desktop? Ah, there it is. Right on schedule. Oh! Amazing. Are you... What the fuck? How? All I did was install Internet Explorer. I guess I can try to run the update through command prompt. It's so fun to map. You're shitting me. I can't even launch. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Yes. Please try to fix it. Oh, I can open my computer again, so that's. I guess it's less broken. It's like, can I? I can get to shutdown. I can get what? Okay, so now it's working. What? I bet. I bet if I restart now, it'll stop working. Jeez. Okay. So no errors. No errors this time. Except for that one. You know what, I'm just gonna install the unofficial service pack at this point because I don't feel that it can make things any worse. So, yeah. Here's our reconstituted service pack. That I have the right version. Pretty sure. Oh, that's amazing. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is just format the drive reinstall from scratch and figure out a different way of updating this because it's clearly none of this is gonna work so I was you know I was really hoping to be able to fix this today and play some retro games but uh, it looks like that's not gonna happen so the next video is going to be one I'm not, you know I said I wasn't gonna do the install video but it looks like I'm gonna end up doing the install video anyway I guess that's it. This video was a little more organic than, than usual, but, um, yeah, I broke it. <laughs> I broke it.